How's it going, everybody? I'm Patrick Static, and welcome to space! We, we are in space, but welcome to 60 Parsecs! This is a uh, continuation or a new kind of style game of 60 seconds, which I did not too long ago, and I saw this at PAX West, and it looked like a lot of fun, and I wanted to try it. Uh, happy October at the time of recording this. It's October 1st, so I want to start this month off with something silly as the rest of this month. I'm hoping for all the spoopy stuff, so I hope you're ready for all the spoopy, scary things. But, uh, let's jump into 60 parsecs. Welcome to the Astro Citizen Program. In order to enjoy your comfort during your stay on the space station, please adjust the settings of your cabin. Uh, that looks all good. Uh, pick an Astro Citizen Cadet. Dee Dee or Emmett? Ooh, this is tough. You know what? Dee Dee, get out of my laboratory! Alert! Nuclear apocalypse imminent! Executing Order 1961. New protocol initiated. Commence Astro Citizen emergency drill and brace for nuclear impact! Space drill. This isn't good. Okay, well, I'm guessing live in space, the biggest space event starring all American citizens. Why not like the whole world? Why just America? I'd be down to like bring everybody. I don't know if living in space is probably the best idea as I've seen a lot of sci-fi movies. Uh oh, welcome to Icarus 13 space station, Astro Citizen. Oh, I got, oh crap. Uh, I grabbed soup. Wait, uh, drop it into the escape shuttle. Who am I? Let's. Can, can I grab this dude? I can't grab him. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Um. Okay. Drop. Boom. Okay. Find some medical supplies. I like how it's actually like walking me through how to play. Something. Sir. Your your foot's in a bucket. Okay. Well, let's go and look for some medical supplies. Got him. Wait. Can I? Oh no. Was I supposed to grab, like, a bunch of medical supplies? Holy crap! Dee Dee can run! Oh, Emmett. To the shuttle. Wait. Uh-oh. To the shuttle! Go! Find some crafting resources. What crafting resources? Uh, wham, wham, wham. What do they look like? I don't know. That's not good. Oh gosh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Crafting resources. Uh, over this way. I haven't been over here yet. Ducky! Uh, what are you doing? You yelling out somebody on the phone? There's a blaster. I feel like that would be smart to have. Uh, that looks like a crafting bit to me. I'm just running into everything. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Dee Dee. Making you run into everything. Uh, maybe the first room? Just, you know, doopy doop doop. Uh, find some crafting. I don't, I don't even know where to find crafting recipes. Where, where would it be? I have, I have no clue. I, oh, this, this box. Put them in your escape shuttle. Kaboom! Find a crewmate. One. I gotta bring Emmett, I guess. Help them down the hatch. Well, you know what? Let's take Bucket Man. Wait, we can't take Bucket Man. We have to take Emmett. All right, down the chute. Alert! Alert what? Oh, incoming missile detected. Grab whatever you... Grab whatever, whoever you can, and head to the escape shuttle. Oh, no. Okay, so this is the bad thing. Okay, this, this is where we gotta rush. Whoop! Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. I did see one thing. Let's grab that. Uh, I saw the gas mask over here, and I... No, 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 no! Okay, bad, 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 bad. Okay, I think we've got enough time. Food. Ah. Uh, to the shuttle! Bugger off! Oh, God, this is bad. Okay, hold up. We, 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 got, we got everybody in there. We got four people. Okay, I'm gonna make this phone thing and this shuttle. I can't make the shuttle! Okay, the music, just don't mind the music, Patrick. It's fine, you're gonna be fine. Everything's grand and dandy, you know? Oh my God, everything's flashing red. I'm gonna die! Okay, 
I got the sock puppet! Ah! Uh, more soup! I gotta go! Oh! Damn! Dumpster dive! Well, I feel bad, I let one- I let one person die! There's still somebody on the- Power! Minerals! Chemicals! Resources for all crafting and upgrading needs! Okay! I feel like we did pretty well. I kind of got to scope out everything, which was nice that I got to do the tutorial. I didn't remember what was in the top left besides the rubber ducky. Uh, all right, we are here. We are day one. We're all looking great. I feel. Hey, Astro, computerized assistant, reporting for duty. You must be Deity, right? I am pleased to announce that according to my data, you qualify to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the small misfortune of being relocated 60 parsecs away from Earth. Current objective, find a safe place to land on and then try to contact the outside world. Please check the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. Show me what you got, Captain! Okay. Uh. What is that? Oh! Chemicals. Make seven successful attribute decisions. Okay. Oh! A former child athlete whose promising career was ended by an untimely injury. As an adult, she struggles to reinvent herself. Reinvent. Reinvent herself, but the reality is far from what she imagined. She joins the Astro Citizen program in hopes of regaining the confidence and finally becoming the champion she was always destined to be. Captain Goals makes sense. Okay, that's, you know. I don't need food after all that coffee. That's pretty nice. Hey. All right. Uh, well, let's check our, our... The floor is yours, Captain. You should now give a speech that will guide this vessel and its crew through the stars. You've prepared it, of course. Everybody's really looking forward to your speech. Every, uh, so am I. This is it. You will really show what breed of captain will you be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Um, intelligent one, a strength one. Let's do an intelligent. It's good to be smart. But why does that have that three bars? Agility's got three bars on it, while those have one. Let's do agility. Boop. All right, day one. Ah, I see. Well, hold on. Uh, how are you doing? Emmett Ellis, Elias. Uh, he's doing good. We have Tom Thompson. And we also have Baby Bronco. Everyone seems to be fine. Let's go ahead and go to the next day then. Woo! Doing pretty good, I feel. I Means it's day one. But day two is going to be much more exciting. I know it. All right. Never before has anyone given a speech so determined and to the point. Not any space captain, at least. You spoke of making your own luck and surviving. It really sounded like you knew what you were talking about. Did you? No. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I like cookies. That was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you finished with the speech. Long live the captain, filled the cabin. See, I am the true captain. Wait, I'm sorry, but I am the true cap. I have, I have invigorated my my crew. I think I'm the captain. Wait, I think this proves it. If any sound could travel through the soundless void outside the hull of your ship, it would be Wade saying no. It sucks. You're ready for any challenge and challenge this galaxy throws you. Emmett says he's glad to have you as his captain. Baby also says that. And Tom says that. 50. Okie dokie. Uh, well, I like my little artifact. Let's see. Captain, it is important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned troop is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Everyone could be the difference. Every, even one could be the difference between life and death. That's why it's important to keep good inventory of your stock. Unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Yeah, that was a joke. Please appreciate it and laugh. Thank you for your cooperation. Um, excuse me. You will perform the routine supply check. The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I may be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this, about this crew captain. Okay, so who will perform? Let's get Emmett to do it. I believe Emmett. I believe, what is that? Is that a spacesuit? 
That is awesome. Okay. What is that? Crafting. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see. They're doing pretty good. Ration soup to all. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't have that much soup, man. They're doing okay right now. <laughs> I'm just drinking coffee. I could survive forever on coffee, right? <laughs> Everyone's fine. Let's just go to the next day. I think now this day I'll probably have to eat. But everybody seems to be fine. I'm a good captain, right? Good news, Captain! The shuttle came pre-stocked with emergency food! Great! The routine, the routine supply check is now complete. Well, well, look at that. The uh, numbers add up. Good job, human crew. Current number of soup can on board is eight. Nice. I was just worried about that. Correction! The accurate tally is actually ten. Ooh! Robot can count. Additional foodstuffs were delivered to the shuttle instead of in entertainment supplies. Lucky you. The food he collected is more than sufficient for now. Just don't eat it all at once. Tom remains loyal. Okay. So, let's give a soup to everybody. And it's weird that I don't have water this time. But we'll go ahead and make sure everyone gets food. Can I have? Like, they're all loyal, but can I have somebody to, like, you know... Captain, the grabbing module is in the back of the cabin has been activated. It's just like the Astro Citizen material said. This one machine will let you create and destroy in accordance with the principle of mass conservation. All you need is a little bit of min minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. Very cool. So how do you do? Ooh. Upgrade. We can just craft soup? What? You just craft food. All right, we got a crafting module. We got a handbook. We got a mask. Oh, these are upgrades. I'm sorry. We can upgrade the artifact. What would that do? I have no idea. I have no idea what that would do. Um. So I have 30 of each. Hmm. I don't know what to do! Let's not do anything. Uh, I feel like I should upgrade something. Upgrade the artifact goes! Upgrading that bad boy. That's probably a very bad idea. That's fine! It's gonna be handy. Just you watch. It's gonna be handy. Everyone still has cap. I told you I switched on the crab system in the back of the shell. It's only collecting dust right now. Emma is still loyal. Upgrade complete. Item new. New item available. Extraordinary artifact. Its eyes are glowing. Told you. Can I upgrade it again? Oh. Dag nab it. All right, communicator. Let's go ahead and upgrade that because you know. Communicate with things. Make a decision. Captain, our wondrous astrocytic mini reactor needs a re regular coolant flush. The magnificent machine only occupies two-thirds of the shuttle storage and weighs less than a 20-ton truck. Truly a marvel of space age mini <laughs> And keeping it in good condition is crucially yet difficult. To flush the coolant pipes, you must spin the torque shaft at precisely 98 beats per minute for 17 minutes. Um, Emmett is idle. Do you want to ask him to begin flushing process? Sure! You got that, Emmett? Hmm. Emmett's good. Hmm. Tom is good. Hmm. Baby Bronco's good. Hmm. I'm good. Alright, Emmett, don't fuck this up. Got my eyes on you, Emmett. Emmett gladly obliged when you asked to when you asked to cycle the mini actors coolant pipes. He went the extra mile collecting res, residual coolant from the pipes. Emmett detected a hole in one of the react mini reactor pipes and managed to rectify the situation. <laughs> Emmett, you're my man. I'm glad I brought you. 
Upgrade completed. New item available. Stereo communicator. Now, I got really worried doing that because when we found Emmett, he was tied up in a bunch of his work. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad you, you, you done did good. Proud of you. Uh, we got Captain. It is time for the ultimate honor. The most essential task available on the shuttle. Cleaning the cabin floor. From supple green sands to a fine coating of skin dust, the place could do with the good scrumming. Baby looks free. Will you ask him to apply some elbow grease? Or request he improves the cleaning formula from whatever on board? Strength or intelligence? Let's do strength. It's got a star. I feel pretty good about it. Alright. Uh, okay, so we can upgrade our handbook. Ooh. What would the book do upgrade? Let's do the freaking gas mask thing. I feel like that would be smarter. In case we need to use it for anything, you know what I mean? Uh, we'll go ahead and feed everybody tomorrow. Lights out! Time for a sleepy time. Day six! Friend zone! You ordered baby to get on all fours! And rub the floor clean. Just what a perfect Astro Sin leader would do, man. Between being the respectful crewmate he is, Baby was keen to help and worked away at even the smallest stains down there on the floor. Ah, oh, cleaner shuttle, happier Astro citizens. Emma remains loyal. Tom remains loyal. Upgraded complete. Baby thinks of you as a friend. Oh, Bronco, you're so cute. Upgraded complete. Now item full face mask. Very cool. Mm. Y you you are a pretty nice fella, dude. Uh, so I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, my ability... Caffeinated, hunger bonus. You don't need food after all that coffee. So really... Hmm. Everyone seems to be doing pretty well right now, so I'm, I'm gonna say nay to giving anybody stuff. Okay, still can't use that. But we can craft some stuff. So, let's go ahead and craft some soup. Maybe. A lighter. What would I use a lighter for? Let's go for it. Let's just see what... Oh, I gotta make a decision. I'm sorry. Man, Baby Bronco's been in a strange mood all day. You finally decided to ask him what's up. Cap, Baby says. No one's ever trusted me with anything but my muscles. Mo All I ever hear is how I'm just brawn. My parents used to say, I only strong on myself for more trouble than I was worth. Cap, he whispered. Am I a little bit... Am I a liability? Well, Cap? Am I a liability? Hmm. Because his parents said that he was like, you know, I was always trying to get more trouble than I was worth. I want to say no. Because I don't want him to be mad. I don't want him to be really upset. Plus, we're on this little pod. I just now noticed our little sock. I will say no. I don't think you're a liability, dude. You're totally fine, good buddy. Hopefully, that's okay and he does get bad. Let's see. Because, you know. I think you're just fine, baby. Across the stars achievement. You guys can't see this, but I got an achievement. Uh, can you... You guys can't even see that. So I got an achievement for... Find a soulmate. I'm already in love, man. Look at this. When Baby was having a crisis of purpose, you reassured him that he's not a liability. He said, well, his brawn is useful. His good nature and keenness are what make him a team favorite. Say, look at that. I told you. Man, I don't like it when, like... Don't be so negative, babe, Bronk. You're, you are amazing, my dude. Baby's eyes swelled up. You're the closest thing I ever had to a mom, Cap. He said, mine didn't do too much for me. The only reason I'm here is mom and papa Bronk gave me up to the cops. What? Oh, gosh. This gets so bad. They left me in jail. So I said, so, said I wasn't even theirs. You both got a bit emotional. Bronco laid his massive head on your shoulders. You don't remember feeling this protective of anyone or anything. Crowd completed new item lighter. Baby expresses feelings for you. Love is in the air. But he just asked. He said, I'm the closest thing I've ever had to a mom. What? I hope. 
is not... I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, well... Everybody seems to be pretty good. Uh, let's make it a sense. Attention, Captain! I'm detecting a leak in our reactor cooling system. In case you were wondering, this is not good. Did I mention you should not inhale anything that comes out of the reactor? Please, also, uh, please don't. Also, how are you gonna fix it? Let's get the mask! Told you gonna be useful uh i well i said this was gonna be useful but we're gonna shove that in the cooling thing fix it we'll be fine um i feel like we should just keep like crafting stuff while we're here uh tape i i meant to feed them they're gonna be mad at me all right well we used our gas mask day eight I cannot determine if you actually read the fix of reactor, Astro Citizen Leaflet, or if you just made random motions trying to see anything through that mask. But the leak is no more. You'll be happy to hear no one has in inhaled any of the coolant vapor. Well done, Captain. Crafting completed. New item available. Tape. You are now alert. Emic thinks of you as a friend. Tom is proud to call you a friend. I have friends. Oh. All right. Let's make some soup. All right, make a decision. Your attention is required, Captain. This is the most uh, this is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them, and more importantly, what they are con what they contain. It might be a solar flare, interference, or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. Oh no! We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. For all we know, our survival depends on it. Who do you want to put in charge of monitoring the computer community? Okay, you know what, Tom Thompson? Let's go! I believe in you, buddy. And just for that, I'm going to give everybody some butts. All right, so you're going to find... Wait, no, no, no. I don't think you need food. How are you feeling? Huh. <laughs> Sanity is alert. <sighs> All right, cool. Let's give everybody some food, just, you know, we'll give everybody a round of food. Just give everybody a round of food. I think it'll be fine. I think we'll have plenty of soup. Day nine! First contact! Captain, you need to see this! I'm not easily excited because I'm a robot, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and hum human-made AI alike. We're not alone in this universe. The signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. I'm not saying they're aliens, but they are alien transmissions. Aliens. As in, coming from other life forms. I'm not saying aliens, but I'm saying aliens. And no, I do not mean the Reds. It's something we have never seen before. They seem to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our... Uh, Rather, your life will be the same, Captain. Tom is still your friend. Crafting completed. We now made soup. Baby's doing well mentally. He looks alert. So I don't know if being alert is a good thing or a bad thing, but you know. I think it's fine. All right, got to make a decision. Baby appears to be upset, Captain. In his hands, he holds a tiny toy. His beloved Soviet soccer figurine. Uh, his head has come off. He sobs, saying that it... Uh, that that was his only toy he was allowed. Whenever his parents made him do things to the other people, nasty things, you would always imagine he was a soccer and that the victim was a commie spy. Now he's older, he realizes his parents were probably the bad guys. If I had tear ducts, I'd shed a single tear, ma'am. He asks if you can help repair his superhero toy. You've never seen anyone else touch it. It's his most precious item. Let, yeah, buddy, yeah, let's, let's just help him out. What's wrong with your face, dude? Are you starting to grow a beard? The fuck was that? All right. How are we doing? Ha! All right. We're going to do one more day, and we're going to call it a day. going to call it a day. I don't know if I could have crafted anything. I don't think I could have. But, day 10. This will be our final day, and we'll come back to this later. You agreed to indulge baby Soviet's beating fantasies, so you looked at the Soviet figurine with him. The two of you nested in a corner for hours... Discussing great depth Soviet history. Then you had a joint nap and it was the best rest you've had in recent memory. 
In baby support, supportive embrace, you look more com comfortable than I have ever seen you, Captain. Tom still considers you his friend. What about friend, friend, friend? Good. Everybody's happy still. I can craft one more soup, which I think I guess I can craft two more soups. As a child, Emmett was bullied frequently for his interest in space in science. He's been working on a gift for you, Captain, but I can't but I can tell he is hesitant to give it to you. Due to his constant raises in body heat and heightened neuro neuronal neuronal Oh my god, activity, my interpretation is that he fears his gift will be unappreciated. Will you accept it? Yeah. Sure. I like gifts. And especially if he made it, why wouldn't I? Homemade gifts are like the best. I absolutely love it. Alright, let's uh... Huh. I don't know. We'll call it a day. Oh, I just want to see what he made me. Okay, we'll do one more. I say I'm gonna do one more and then I do like another day, another day, another day. Just keeps you locked in. Day 11! Emma gave you give he's been working on. It's, it was a sentimental picture drawn in dust near Emmett's chair. Oh, that's right. Tom assures that you can still count on you his friendship. Crafting completed. Tom assures you that you can still count on his friendship. Okay, Tom. All right. Well, I'm going to call it here, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying 60 parsecs. It's very interesting compared to like 60 seconds. But uh, I do hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know what you guys are thinking of it down in the comments. Uh, I did get this on Steam. So if you guys were wanting to pick it up for yourself, I think it's like 15 bucks. Super fun so far. But uh, I love your faces. I hope you guys are all ready for a spoopy month of all the spooky, scary skeleton things. But uh, thank you for joining me for Six to Parsecs. I'll see you guys all next time for some more. And uh, have a great day. Love your face. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys then.